interesting that thing in the dentist grill. Oh, I know it. So what we're doing now, we've already leveled all of the ribs, and we want to get the uh, A and the F rib. That's looking good. So Bob has got two laser levels here. One, uh, he's going to paint all of the level lines on the ribs, and the second paints that the vertical line that is located one inch from the leading edge of each rib. Dialing them in. And again, we start with the A okay, and the we, F rib. We got, a level got the F rib where we want it. Now, what we're doing is we're working on the uh, D rib or the E rib. And we got the D rib just exactly where we want it. It's also leveled in um, this way here. Got a level on it see that this way. So we're going to bond that one in and then move on to the E-rib. Get good. Yep. Bonding on the D-rib. Using five minute epoxy and, and flocks, or are you using? I'm just using the micro. Micro, okay. Just for attach points where you put the flocks to it. That'll work. And remember, when we bond in the D rib, we only bond on the front, can't the rib, because we got to be able to remove the uh, the outboard spar there. Yeah, so just just the front of the D rib. The E rib we can completely bond to the outboard spar, yeah. but. Okay, so I'm off to the edge there. Yeah, it looks good. We're just gonna fillet that in there. Ha! Gray green. I went to looking for gray. The wedge is right where it's where to put it, but I'm Yeah, you got a nice little gap right in there you can fill in. Yeah. <laughs> Quite a gap, yeah. Got, we're doing the B rib, the front B rib now, while we're letting the D rib cure. Uh, then we'll do the E and C, and finally the G. All right, now we're working on the E rib. You can see here we had to kind of grind away a little bit. What? I'm talking to the camera. <laughs> but. Uh, the alignment sure looks good on it. Contour matches up nicely. As the, the slots in the ribs are a little tight and the, the spars have a little variance in shape, so we're ready to bond the E-rib on. All right. Epoxy in the uh, E-rib in there with a little five minute epoxy, just tacking it in. That one we can put epoxy on both sides. Again, that D rib, we've got to be careful not to epoxy it to the outboard spar. So we can take this thing apart later. All right, then we do the C rib. It's looking good. And then finally, we're going to do our G rib. This one's all set up. Need a little bit more to go. Then we're going to get our trailing edges. And uh, that's the uh, majority of the tough work. Yeah. The last rib is the G rib. Okay. Then we attack the uh, trailing edge in place between the A, C, and D rib and the uh, outboard spar fits in tight here to the F and G rib. 
we're just about done. I'm going to be able to, I just figured there's no way that I'm going to be able to put the turtle deck on until it gets cool. Because I got all that laminate work to do, and I only got a two hour epoxy. Right. And, uh, whoa, two hour? Is that a hard drive? It's not. <laughs>